I'm going to do another charging video today. Oh, wait. I got a text from one of my subscribers. It says he didn't charge last night and he needs to top up today. He's wondering if I can go meet him. He drives a, a Model X and, you know, maybe this is a perfect opportunity to compare a bigger vehicle that has lower efficiency with the Standard Range Plus and see which one charges faster. Yeah, I can go help him. Actually, we can see which one charges to 100 kilometers the fastest. That would be cool and useful. I'm Ryan from Rocky Mountain Tesla and we're sharing the data because it's electrifying. Uh, and please don't forget to subscribe. So the Model X has something close to a 100 kilowatt hour battery, the Standard Range Plus closer to 50 kilowatt hours. And of course, the Model X is slightly less efficient than the Standard Range Plus. This 2019 model gets approximately 145 watt hours per kilometer, and the newer ones are even better than that. And the Model X, well, let's talk to Bill, my subscriber who I'm meeting, uh, doing this favor for, and we're going to do a video, socially distanced. I'll plug his Model X in. We're both starting with a warm battery because we both precondition our batteries for at least half an hour. One of the reasons why he's not totally sure about getting this Chatamo adapter, well, let's ask him. Hey, I'm Bill. I'm one of the Tesla owners here in Alberta. Um, so the reason why I didn't uh, buy the Chatamo adapter is the cost. It's really expensive for me, but I have a charger at home, so I don't really see the point of me uh, buying that one. But at times like this, or the situation like this, I don't have a charger, and the only charger that we have here is the FL, FLO charger, so. Yeah, so you're getting kind of like, like on, on a regular basis, you're getting 200 and, um, and 96 watt hours per kilometer? Yes. Um, yeah? On winter, if there's like really bad snow, yeah. it's gonna be around 330. Oh, yeah, 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 exactly. 330, 350. So, overall, the Model X gets lower efficiency compared to yeah, model the three. Model 3. Especially and with the big wheels that I have. Um, oh, and you've got the bigger wheels, so that reduces it as well. But we're just going to look at like the rated range and how yeah. much it adds, like 100 kilometers for each car. See, yeah. see which one charges faster. So let's get this going. Alrighty. All right, we're going to start the session here at the Chatamo. At the Chatamo and start. And the vehicle is connected. So now we just have to hit the start button here. And I hope it's charging. Is it charging? It's starting to charge. All right, so don't want to get too close here. 139 kilometers is what it's at right now. So we're going to see how long it takes to get to 239 kilometers of range. All right. All right, this keeps happening to me. Uh, it says it started and now it's completed. It says the connector is unlocked. So we have to try something again. I, I can't say how many times this has happened to me. This is so frustrating. Okay, three times is how long it takes, apparently, every time. Authorization in progress. Says it's starting to charge. But I don't know. Honestly. Maybe it's my car. No, this is the same experience I have every time. Every time. This is ridiculous. So. We're going to see how long it takes to get to 237 kilometers because it took yet another time to get it started. Plugging in the Chatamo adapter is like a huge pain. Huge. So let's see which one's faster. Why do I still smell gas fumes? Oh, that's why. We're right next to a gas station, of course. So it's getting about 
36 kilowatts charging rate and at 150 kilometers now. Okay, so we've been charging for a while. It's uh, sending about 45 kilowatts to the battery, kilowatt charging rate. And we have a about a few minutes left to go at least. And we've added almost 20 kilowatt hours in this time. And it looks like we're at 225, so still about 12 kilometers to go. So we've been charging, added 20.7 kilowatt hours and 28 minutes. So it looks like we should get close to that 100 kilometer addition of range, rated range, in about 30 minutes or so. So we are at about 143 kilometers. Let's see how long it takes to add 100 kilometers on the standard range plus. All right, here we go again. I'm not looking forward to this. Yes, got it. So I'm starting it. it. Says vehicle not connected, but I'm hitting the start, start session. It's detected. I'm freezing. This is so much more difficult than plugging into a Tesla supercharger. So you can see that it is charging. It is already hitting 45 kilowatt charging rate at the vehicle. I have got to go inside. All right, we have started charging. And we're getting, uh, we're showing 42 kilowatts. It's like my other sessions before, but we're charging at 312 kilometers an hour. It looks like we'll charge a bit faster than what we would have got in the Model X there. So pretty interesting. So we've charged 55 kilometers and that's in just over 11 minutes. And we're getting about 37 kilowatt rate which is actually a lower rate than the Model X, but we are charging much faster. So we might do it in about 20 minutes and we're getting 50 kilowatts from the DC charger, the Chatamo at the flow charger, but we're only getting about 36 into the battery. So it must be heating the battery and of course using some power to keep the interior one. So just past 102 kilometers added. So it took about 22 minutes to get to that 100 kilometer added. And of course we added less energy, but because it's so much more efficient, we were about 10 minutes faster than the Model X to get 100 kilometers. It's the, just the difference in efficiency of the vehicles. So thanks Bill for helping me do this test. I hope uh, we can see each other again and do another test one of these of days. Yeah, of course. Maybe do another charging test. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. We'll see. Not here. Not here. <laughs> Too slow. Too slow. Yep, absolutely not here. <laughs> exactly. So there you have it. It takes considerably more time to charge uh, a car with less efficiency, with a bigger battery, than the Standard Range Plus because it is more efficient and it can charge a lot faster kilometers per hour, miles per hour. So if you want to keep learning uh, new things about charging, take a look at this video here. And if you just want to keep on watching Rocky Mountain Tesla, take a look at this video that YouTube thinks you should watch. 
and don't forget to subscribe. 